Hello folks, welcome back to Harrison Ultimate Gaming. I'm Brian Harrison, and it's been a while since I've done a GTA 5 video. I've been bef I've been kind of taking it easy before my procedure. Uh, I haven't always been doing well. I sleep quite a bit, but today I kind of feel a little bit like I want to. And I'd, I'd been thinking about whether I was going to or not, but I decided to. I'm going to show off my, whoop, my medium and my small cargo warehouse I do when I showed off uh, I forget how many videos ago I had the big cargo warehouse and I hadn't bought the rest I have now the toll five the one large one which is on its own video when I first showed off this business and now I have the other four which is the which are two medium ones and one small one and I decided to show them off so if you're buying a medium or small one you get to see the size I get to see what it is and I'm going to do this Try to do this all in one video, but before I get really going, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and leave a like on the video, and hit the bell notification to alert you of new and upcoming videos. So I hope you are having a great day. Let's kind of get started, but before we get started, it's GTA, so I'm going to have a... Well, we're still here. Um, my friend's nightclub is over there, but I noticed a little vibrating thing in my controller, and look at this. To collect the spray can, so let's see what this is about. It's right next to my building. Oh, you collected a spray can. Oh, okay. So, well, there you go. Uh, and then I could tag posters each day. Yep. And earn bonus rewards. I know it's a thing, but I thought I was going to... Okay, it's just a spray can. All right. I thought it was going to be more exciting than that, but okay. It's like those collectibles uh, that don't... Um, if you play this game, look around, you'll see... There's like mini figures to collect, like action figures, I guess you call them. And then the, there are there are other stuff to collect. I know it's kind of hard. But here we are. This is what the medium one looks like. It's not as nice as the big one. The big one has like a its own office. Here, you're stuck with just a, a desk and a laptop. And I don't even know if the radio works. It's just there. So and you have to register to get onto the computer. And you can see what's in your warehouse. Let's, let's actually just see... Just in case you guys don't know what it's like. See, this is, you know, your current warehouse. I have lifetime earnings because I sold some, I sold a good. Um, I really haven't really run with this because you have to pay. And I just had gotten the rest of these, so maybe I'll get into it. But I've been kind of saving up for the Halloween stuff to see what that's about. Um, and I may do a video on the Halloween stuff. And held stock, 42. Um, so it's medium. It tells you it's medium. And zero. You know, yeah. And this is what it looks like. It's just, yeah, I guess a warehouse. Uh, there's some forks over here. Um, we'll walk. Actually, we should walk down all these. This is where, obviously, you'll store the goods. And as you come in here, you'll see how full it is by the goods that are there. And, of course, looking on the computer. You can talk to this lady, your staff, and she will help provide. She will help pro um, you could. Yeah, watch. So you could pay her to source cargo for you. So, yeah. Uh, that may be worth trying sometime. I haven't decided whether I'm going to try it or not. And she'll stand. Like, right now, she's standing there. I think one time I saw her, she was standing over here somewhere by one of these. So, they, they kind of try to make it look like she's not just a, a pill, part of the pillar or <laughs> part of the warehouse. That way she doesn't do anything. It's, it's, it makes it look like she's active, I guess. Uh, even though she mostly just stands around. Anyway, yeah, this is not this is it's it's not too bad. I mean, if you get started in this, you probably want it. You can just buy the small ones and then upgrade over time. I don't know how much I'm actually going to invest in this business. I really don't. I mean, maybe I'll upgrade over time, but right now I'm pretty satisfied because I realize there's quite a bit involved in it, and I'm not sure if I'm exactly happy. With the involvement, or if I am, you know, if is it really worth it? I like to own the property. I'm kind of a sucker for buying property, even I don't really use it, just because it's like, hey, it's almost like I don't know what you call it. Uh, um, like hey, you you made it or something. I don't know. I may still, I may try someday. I'm not saying I won't though either. So, but we're leaving here. This, like I said, this may be actually sh sort of a short video. Um, 
We're gonna go into my car. All right, now we're gonna go on to the map. And then we're gonna go, so that's, as far as I know, I think that's the big one. Um, this is gonna be the small one over here. Yeah, because that's the big one we saw. Um, I have a video on it, so I'm not gonna. And yeah, it's it's big. You you should yeah. It's nice to have. I I I guess I'm glad I have one big one. And but it's nice to get. I don't know. It's if you're starting out and you're not really sure about it. I my recommendation is buy the small ones. You know, um, don't get too crazy over it, and then tell you run the business. Then you go, oh, okay, I like it. I'm going to upgrade, and you can upgrade. If you don't, at least you have your five warehouses, and you spent some money, and if you never really touch it again, then you didn't spend too much because the small ones, I think the small ones, yeah, because I got a couple small ones, a couple medium ones, and one large one. The first one I bought was the large one. So, um, yeah, you just, then you don't feel like you burned your money. Then you, if you're not really going to run it, but yet you still brought property with the intention of running it. So here we go. I'll have to get out the other side. So park too close to that trash can. But here we are. This is a small one, and it has you know one cargo door. I think the medium, the medium one, I thought had two or so. But anyway, yeah. There you go. There's a garage over there. Anyway. Here we are. This is the small one. This is what I mean. Um, I think it's... And, of course, your computer's over here. So it's even worse than the medium one because there's potential cargo being right there and you're just not far from it. Um, so, yeah, this is... A, but the good thing about having the small one is if you're not... Like, I have a couple... only have two of these and two medium ones and the one large one. So it's not very big. Um, but if you're running it and you feel like, hey... Oh, let's see. What's the upgrades? Let's see. A delivery truck. Deliver vehicle upgrades. Deliver plane. Delivery plane. Delivery boat. Purchase upgrade for... The oh. Okay. Interesting. I'll have to look at that. That's kind of cool, I guess. So anyway, yeah, but um, again, you have a staff, but this time I don't think there's many places for him to go. You can still speak to him and he'll collect goods for this warehouse. I think, yeah, I think that's a bad thing about some of these businesses. You have to go to each warehouse. That's what it seems like and collect and they get them to collect goods for it. If you're going to go that route or you do it yourself, but you still have to pay into it. That's the problem. It doesn't matter if you pay them to do it or you pay and you go do it. My friend does it, has done it. And He's like, it's okay, but it's, he's he's not a big fan. He, he hasn't run his forever. So that's what I'm saying. If you want to get into this business, start with the small ones. And then if you do really good, then maybe upgrade a couple of them, see how you do. And then and then if you uh, – and some people are really good at it. So if you're really good at it and you just upgrade everything, then, yeah, it would be worth it, I guess. But I'm glad I just got my five warehouses, and I just will leave it at, as this for now. I mean, yeah, it's kind of nice to say, hey, I have big warehouses, but no one's going to, unless people see it, they can't see it unless you hire them to deliver. So it's not going to matter too much, really. It's, I, but I'm glad I have all the property now. I could say that. I have everything, all the businesses. You could see the whole full playlist. Yeah, you can see the playlist. Um, for this for the GTA 5 stuff I just haven't uploaded for a little bit um, and I hope to get back to uploading especially you know after my procedure which we're getting closer to so uh, but after I won't be doing videos right after that I'll be taking a little bit of a break but I like I said I do this for fun and enjoyment and it gives me something to do um, because I have not much to do I'm on disability I just so it gives me something to do and have fun and 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 I love doing videos and yeah, I love playing games. So that works together, right? Um, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I uh, again will remind you, please don't forget to comment, subscribe and leave a like on the video and hit the bell notification. 
Um, I'm thankful that you took your time to watch. This was a short video compared to some of my other videos I've done on GTA. I hope to get back. I want to do some like the other, like the pizza run and taxi and I, the bounties. I may even do the police. I have a police car and stuff. I enjoy it. I have actually a couple police cars. I have the unmarked cruiser and the uh, more sporty one. Uh, I'll have to show you which one that is. Um, but I think I've driven my cruiser before. On one of my videos, you have to go back and check which one it is because I don't even remember. But anyway, I hope you I hope you guys enjoy yourself and have a great day and the rest of your week. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully, I'll be able to do more of these videos and get back into some other games games I've been play games I've had done on uh, put on YouTube and get back into the swing of things once I do better. But anyway, I'll see you all. And goodbye for now.